Today we're gonna take a look how to make this 3D kinetic text blend animation here in After Effects. Create a new composition, rename it as 3D. I'm gonna go with 1080p, click OK. And for the font, I'm gonna go with the obviously narrow black. It's a free Adobe font you can download. I'm gonna leave a link in the description. And now we're gonna go and activate the 3D of the text. If you don't have these settings, you can go and click on the toggle switch. It's going to make it appear or disappear. Also make sure that you're on advanced 3D. Let's go and open up the layer, scroll down and open up the geometry options. Here we got the extrusion depth, increase it. And I also gonna go to the camera angle and change it to custom view one. So this way I can see how thick the extrusion is gonna look like. So I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna decrease it. I'm gonna go somewhere under one, 0.7. Let's go to the bevel style and change it to convex. And I'm gonna decrease the bevel depth all the way down. I'm gonna go with 0.2. Scroll down more and open up the material options. And let's increase the specular shininess to 100%. Also make sure that the cast shadows are active. Make sure it's on. And now we're gonna scroll all the way up and we're gonna need to position the text flat horizontally. So let's go to the X rotation and I'm gonna go with minus 90 degrees. And from here, we're gonna to need to animate this, make sure that you're at the beginning. Let's go to the position, activate the stopwatch. And I'm gonna, for example, bring it here. Let's go to the first second. Now let's bring the Y rotation down. Now let's select the first keyframe, press Control C. Let's go to the second second, press Control V. Select all the keyframes, right click, keyframe assist, select easy ease. And now we have a smooth animation. We're also gonna to need to loop this, press and hold Alt and click on the stopwatch at the position. It's gonna open up the expressions and type in loop and select loop out, enter, click somewhere here, hit play, and it's going to loop it automatically. And now but least, we're gonna to need to create that 3D blend of the text. So you can do this manually by copying and pasting every text layer and adjusting all the animations one by one, but there's a faster way to do this with expressions. So I'm gonna to go to the first layer and collapse it, press Ctrl D to duplicate. Let's open it up again. Click on the stopwatch to deactivate the animation and let's go to this loop expression, click on it and I'm gonna delete it and I'm gonna press Ctrl V and copy paste a new expression, which is this. I also gonna leave this expression in the description and here all you need to do is go here to the main layer and change up these zeros. So I'm gonna select all the zeros and let's go to the expression pick whip and bring the pick whip to the top layer. And now I'm gonna go and click somewhere here and check this out. If I bring it to the first second, it is going to animate it automatically and it's going to offset the second layer. I also gonna to need to customize it because right now it doesn't look that good. I'm gonna to go to the custom view and change it to left. So this way you can understand better what is happening. So here we got the Y offset per layer. Right now it's on 41 and I'm gonna to need to decrease this. I'm gonna try it out with 25. And check this out, it is going to move the layer more closer to the first text layer. So let's go back and I'm gonna decrease it more. 22, I'm gonna go with 20. All right, so we got the text close to each other, but as you can see, it is delaying it a little bit too much. So here we got the delay frame by four frames and I'm gonna go and decrease it to two. Now it's better, but I'm gonna need to decrease it to one. So yeah, there it is. And now I'm gonna collapse this layer select the second layer, I'm gonna zoom out, and all you need to do is press Ctrl D a lot of times, and it's going to duplicate the layer and check this out. It is going to adapt these new layers automatically to the first text animation. And I want to rotate the whole composition with the animation, so let's select the top layer, let's go to the layer, new, and select no object. I'm also gonna activate the 3D at the null two, and I'm gonna position this XYZ rotation on the very first 3D text right here. I also gonna go to the left and change it to the top and just make sure that it's positioned somewhere in the center. It doesn't need to be perfect. Now I'm gonna go to the very first text layer, scroll all the way down and press and hold shift and go all the way down to the last text layer, click on it, select all, scroll up and select one of the pick whips and drag it into the null. Now you can select the null too. I'm gonna go change it to active camera default. Let's open up the null, transform. I'm gonna go to the X rotation, 90 degrees. And here we can rotate it however you like, the whole composition, which looks by the way, something like this. And the first thing you're gonna notice when you bring it back to the beginning, you can see the animation is starting from here and that way it won't loop. So we're gonna go to the second second, bring the work area to the second second. And I also gonna bring it to the fourth, hit play. 
and this way it is going to loop. I'm also going to create a camera. Let's go to the layer, new camera, and I'm going to go with a 35 millimeter. Click OK. I'm going to change this to two views, and I'm going to go to this one right here. And here you can arrange the camera, bring it down. And I'm also going to bring the Z rotation to zero. So this way we have a front view. Zoom out a little bit more. I'm going to go back to one view. And now but least I'm going to go and add some lights. Click on the first layer. Go to the layer, new, and select light. I'm going to go with the environment light. Make sure to have the cast shadows checked. Click OK. And now we've got some solid shadows going on. And we're going to need to change up the rotation of the light. So we're going to open up the transform. we got here the X rotation and Y. And just customize them however you like. And this is how you make this kinetic chrome text blend here in After Effects. Thanks for watching.